Hi everyone, welcome to Flower Factor and another tutorial. Um, today we're gonna work with materials that maybe you would throw away. Uh, it's not really a lot of flowery uh, atmosphere, but we're gonna make more like a seasonal design. Uh, we're gonna use some fun techniques, uh, some fun materials. Um, so it should be, should be okay. Um, we're gonna start off with a wooden container and I filled it up with some uh, Oasis sack and just cut the edges a little bit off so it's more smooth. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a spoon and basically we're gonna get some more of the Oasis out. And it gives a little bit of a mess, but this is good enough to start with. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use these Heliantus and the nice thing about Heliantus is, of course, it's a beautiful flower, but sometimes they turn bad before you know it. And the, the yellow leaves are turning bad. So I just strip the leaves off and we're gonna use it upside down. So it gives a nice structure and gives a nice effect. We can use ordinary toothpicks or we can use the cocktail toothpicks. We're gonna start off with just ordinary toothpicks. And basically we just give it two sticks like this and then it's already fixed. All the stems are getting in every direction. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna use the one that was broken too. So that's basically how we start. Again, looking a bit messy, but we're gonna use the tubes. We're gonna use four tubes and I'm using just a pin to make a little bit of a hole. In this way the pressure is not too big on the tubes and you probably get them in a bit easier. Okay, that's that. Then we have this beautiful, beautiful pisales. And on the inside, we're just gonna clamp them in. So I'm taking them off. I just wanna clamp them in between the tubes. And then we get a few more. So we're going to use the little cocktail pins to just gently go through. And we're going to just use the fisales in this case to make a nice structure inside. And of course, it's also to cover our floral foam. Bringing it down a little bit in the middle, so you get a little bit the curving movement inside, which is good. Check if you see uh, any pearl foam, and if you do, just add a fisanus with a stick, like that. Very simple. What we're then going to do is we're going to see if we can create cool structure just with the stamps using the toothpicks and again it's not necessary to pin them all we're just going to create a nice movement of lines clamping them in fixing them Be careful for your fingers because, of course, the sticks are really sharp. And I think this should be our last one. Again, 
I'm cutting away any one, any stamp that I'm thinking is too long or I don't like. This way, I'm gonna cut it away really short. Just a nice structure. Then the next step is a very subtle one. We're gonna use a little bit of the green gravel and we're gonna just carefully place it in so that the heart of the design has an extra detail. Then we're gonna take a few more of these cocktail pins and I'm gonna use them a little bit outside of the construction. And the reason why I do that is, as you've already seen, they have a little nice, like little loop. And that loop we can use in a very easy way to get some rope through. And I think it's a nice extra detail just going through your design. And you don't need a lot, just a little playful line that goes in. Of course, the next step, I'm thinking that this should be a little bit shorter, is we're gonna work with these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful orchids. And in this case, I'm not gonna use them as a plant. I'm gonna use them as a flower, as a cut flower. And they're just going in between the materials. What do you think? Well, I think it's a very nice design. Cool structure, a lot of movement, a lot of fun techniques. Uh, and the result, I think, is really cool. And it's also fast in making. So, uh, try this one, have fun, enjoy, and uh, hope to see you next time here at Flower Factor for more inspiration and education. Bye-bye.